Hey everybody, this is Aaron from Ukulele Underground and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to hold your ukulele. So um, when people are kind of getting started on the ukulele, they assume that they kind of already know how to hold it. And um, there are actually a few nuances to holding your ukulele that can make learning it a lot easier once you get going. So if you have your ukulele with you, um, let's kind of take a look at an ukulele for a second. This is the body of your ukulele. And this is your fretboard with all the frets, fret wires on it. And then this is kind of the neck of your ukulele, right? Headstock, tuning pegs. So what you want to do is grab your ukulele right where the neck meets the body. You know, so grab the neck right where the neck meets the body. And then what you, what you do from here is you lay your forearm down onto the body of your ukulele. And wherever it is that your forearm kind of touches that edge of the lower bout of the body, that's where you're going to be holding pressure on this side of your ukulele. All right? And then on this side, you're going to kind of, this is the nut, uh, this, it's usually white. Um, so this is the nut of your ukulele. You're gonna kind of cradle the neck in your the palm of your hand and then use the, the base of your pointer finger or the base of your thumb to kind of just hold that in place. You know, it's really light, really light pressure here, um, just kind of holding it. So when once you turn your ukulele to you and you hold it to your body, the pressure is gonna be right where your forearm is kind of pulling it to your body uh, just lightly and then this part is going to be your your fretting hand is going to be just kind of cradling really really relaxed and you're going to hold it to you so uh, what is holding your ukulele to you um, you're going to think about it kind of like a seesaw so um, if we think of a seesaw, you have, you know, your, your main kind of plank of the seesaw. And then you also have kind of that balance point or that fulcrum right in the center, right? And then you have kind of like two weights, right? That makes the, the seesaw kind of, you have one weight here and one weight here. And then you can kind of balance based off of the weight distribution. So for your ukulele, it's very similar. So your ukulele is kind of like the plank itself, right? So if you're looking at your ukulele, um, if you're holding it, if you're right, you're doing it right-handed, your ukulele is going to be like this. And um, if you're looking straight down on it, uh, this is a tiny ukulele just for illustration purposes, but <laughs> you can see what I mean. Um, and so you kind of want that so your your body is going to serve as this balance point or this fulcrum. And then your fretting hand is going to be this kind of arrow pulling it back on this side. And then the forearm, your forearm here, is going to be on this side of your ukulele. So that will be that arrow kind of pulling it towards yourself. And so that is going to help your ukulele stick to your body. You're just kind of using just a little bit of pressure. Your ukulele is pretty light, so it's going to help it to stay onto your body right here. You just kind of imagine that this is your body right here. If you're looking straight down you actually don't really want it to look exactly like this picture, right? Where the balance point is right at the center of your ukulele. You have your forearm here and your fretting hand here kind of holding it. Um, that would be pretty uncomfortable. And so you also know that um, your forearm provides a lot more weight. So this arrow is kind of a lot heavier whereas your fretting hand 
is gonna be you know your friending hand is gonna be doing all kinds of other stuff doesn't really provide too much pressure back you're you're gonna be kind of holding it like this and kind of pulling it back but it should be pretty relaxed so this is still gonna be you know very light and so if that's the case then you know that your your seesaw is gonna be like this right and that's kind of a lot of people say when they're fretting it flies out of their hand or you know it kind of slips away that's because there's more pressure on this side than on this side the way that we remedy that actually is when you're setting up holding your ukulele what you want to do instead is to have it more like this so here's your plank here's your ukulele and then you have your body is going to be closer to this side you have your forearm is pushing back with kind of a lot of force you know, just kind of really hugging, hugging it. Um, not, not a lot of force, I guess, but just the weight of your arm just provides a lot already. And then you have your fretting hand. So that is going to be a lot more balanced than this. Just by sliding that balance point here. So what does that mean? If you're looking at it straight down, so imagine that this is kind of your stomach or your just yeah kind of your stomach um instead of having it like this what you want to do is have it kind of like this right so your your balance point is going to be kind of you know right in the middle of the body or towards the lower bout of your ukulele it's going to be kind of angled out like that your hand is going to be Kind of just lightly grasping and then your forearm is going to be pull, pulling it towards you or just kind of holding it in place and then just with very little pressure that should hold your ukulele to you so let's check it out with kind of like a full-size ukulele notice that the angle of the ukulele is kind of out like here here's my body um i'm holding it against I have my my hand where my strumming is going to be is right here so I kind of like put it to my body it's going to be at an angle my forearm wherever it rests that's where my forearm is going to be kind of pinching it to my body and then with this hand I have I just kind of cradle it pretty easily and so I can kind of like use this part of my hand to even just like pull back a little bit you know you see uh, right where the nut is I'm just kind of like using that and there we go so so that's kind of how you're holding your ukulele so it's not I'm not really pulling towards me very much but it's like balanced perfectly it's staying up I don't have a strap on or anything it's just held to my body just um, just from the pressure of my forearm on the side and just kind of slightly hooking with this part of my hand but it's basically just held in my hand my open hand um, I can totally let go of my fingers and um, it allows me to switch chords pretty freely but there you go you can use your your thumb to kind of like stabilize it even more and that's it so if we were to kind of draw it out um, your body is kind of like this if you're looking straight down your ukulele is kind of in an angle like this but the point of contact is right here so that you have your forearm right here and then your hand is kind of hooking so you have just a little bit of pressure there to hold it back and that's pretty much it practice this um, it's really a balancing act 
um, walk around your house with your ukulele and just kind of get comfortable with it. The more that you practice it, the more comfortable it'll be, the more natural holding your ukulele, even without a strap, will be. Um, and then everything else will get easier over time. Switching chords will be easier. And um, you won't have to worry about some of the problems that people run into if they don't have their holding your ukulele down. So, um, so yeah, uh, leave a comment below. Or if you have any questions, go to ukuleleunderground.com and send us a message. Um, we're always there to help you. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.